Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com. Just want to bring you a video that covers all the most important news and stories for the week of December 4th. And what a week it was in the world of AI. It never fails. And if you appreciate these types of videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I truly appreciate that and spend hours coming up with topics, doing research, and also putting together the videos for you guys. So I would really appreciate that. So diving right into the first big story of the week is the release of Google Gemini. Now I have a whole video where I talk about this launch right here about Google Gemini um, and everything that you need to know with the important details. And here is the official press release of Google Gemini. And I will leave a link to this in every article that I mentioned in the video description below for you guys to take another look. But this is a pretty big deal, guys. Google has hinted about Gemini for months now. Um, and we were always wondering, you know, when it was going to come out, what's it going to look like? And according to their benchmarks, it is outperforming GBT4 in a lot of areas, you know, whether it's general STEM, math, arithmetic, um, even code, it's beating it out in code, um, image, video, audio generation, according to Google and whatever their benchmarks are. Um, it is beating out the GPT-4 language model. I am a little skeptical of that because where is Google pulling this data from? That would be my question. Um, there's no really concrete examples of comparing the Gemini language model to GPT-4 side by side. So always take this with a grain of salt. It is coming from Google and it is their language model. So again, take this data with a grain of salt, but regardless, very big news in the world of AI. So if I hop over to Google Bar just to test this, guys, I actually did not have access to Gemini today. So if I ask it, what language model are you using? I'm very curious to see what it's going to say. As of today, December 7th, I am currently using the Gemini Pro language model from Google AI. This model is more advanced version of Palm 2, which itself is a significant upgrade from the Lambda family of large language models I was originally based on. So in real time, guys, I just found out that I do have access to Google Gemini now within my BARD account. So I look forward to making a more dedicated video on this and just some tips and tricks within Google BARD that you can use Gemini. And I'm going to compare that to GPT-4 in a dedicated video soon. So I'm glad that I actually have access to it now. Uh, Matt Wolf, who's a YouTuber that I respect in the AI space, he said, Gemini Ultra looks amazing. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing that until next year sometime. Gemini Pro is an improvement over what we had in BARD previously, but still not great compared to GPT-4. I 100% agree with that. I think there's still a lot to figure out. And again, when I test this side by side by GPT-4 in a separate video, hopefully I can answer some of these questions that I have. All right, so moving on to the second piece of news for the week, Mistral AI nears a $2 billion valuation as major funding round attracts high profile investors. Now, what in the world is Mistral AI? That was the question I had when I first saw this on my Twitter feed. So Mistral AI is an AI startup that has now started to get attention from NVIDIA and Salesforce. So two very prominent names in the tech space have invested million, hundreds of millions of dollars in this Mistral AI. So I went down the rabbit hole here on their website and what they have is a large language model called Mistral 7B, the most powerful language model for its size to date, according to Mistral AI. So then it goes in to talk about some of the details and how it performs on certain benchmarks. They do compare it to Llama 2. So if you're familiar with Llama 2, that is Meta AI's large language model. So Meta owning Facebook and Instagram. Um, so they compare it to Llama 2. I don't see any GPT-4 comparisons here. Um, so if I do a command for actually in real time and I search for GPT, I don't even see a GPT for comparison, Google Gemini or anything, other, any other prominent large language model. So the fact that this is getting a two billion dollar investment makes me take notice as someone who's in the weeds of AI. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you guys, you know, and why it made this video, because I'd never heard of it. Mistral AI. So keep an eye on Mistral AI moving forward. The next piece of news, guys, is Meta actually launched a standalone AI image generator. So we started to see an influx of AI generated images, even with Google search results, you can generate images now. Started with Mid Journeys, the Pioneer, the Bing Image Creator, Dolly 3, Adobe Firefly, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the AI text to image space is becoming very crowded and there's more players as time goes on. Um, but Meta actually launched their own text to image generator. So all you need is a free account with Meta. So if you have a Facebook or Instagram account, you can start using this. It's imagine.meta.com and it's just sim a simple text to image generator. So if I say, um, create me 
an image of a dog playing in the snow. And let's see what it comes up with here. All right, and that, that looks pretty dang good to me. Very realistic, uh, more realistic than some of the other AI image generators that I've seen. Well, I'm super impressed by this, actually. Um, so if you click this option here, you can download the image. You can report harmful content if you want. Um, so you could download it, upload to Canva, upload to Photoshop, and do all those types of things here. But guys, I'm going to have to make a dedicated video on you know the newer AI text-to-image generators um, as Meta AI has just come into the space, and we know that they're a big deal. So I'm going to have to compare this against Firefly, Dolly 3, um, and all the other big players. So this is another big piece of news. The next big piece of news for the week is Elon Musk is looking to raise $1 billion for XAI. Now, XAI is Elon Musk's AI company, you might most notably by X, which is the rebrand of Twitter. Um, and they're most known for Grok. So Grok is Elon's new large language model that's come into the picture. Um, it was supposed to be released, and I believe it was released to the public last week or two weeks ago for members of the Premium X Premium plan or whatever the deal is. Um, I actually bought it just hoping that I could get access to it right away. And I still do not have access to Grok. Uh, so I'm a little disappointed here. But anyways, guys, the story is Elon's looking for, it looks like a billion dollar investment from notable investors. Um, he still has about $865 million to go to meet his $1 billion goal. Looks like he's raised $135 million so far from unnamed investors. Now, I, that was my first question when I saw this article is, well, who's giving Elon this money? Who are the big players in this race? All right, guys, so the next piece of news is what's called Deep Search. So Microsoft just released this blog post two days ago on December 5th talking about Deep Search. Now, what is Deep Search? That was my first question. So they go on to say here, that's why we created Deep Search, a new Microsoft Bing feature that provides more relevant and comprehensive answers to the most complex search queries. Deep Search is not a replacement for Bing's existing web search, but an enhancement that offers the option for a deeper and richer exploration of the web. So they have a little GIF here that shows deep search in action. So whatever the query is here that you're typing. So let's you know restart this from the beginning here. So someone types in a query. So how do point systems work in Japan? As an example, they have this deep search option now. So it goes beyond traditional search results. So it says finding other things here. It looks like your search could be about customer loyalty, traffic violations, immigration policy. It's just diving deeper on search intent. And I'm very curious. I do have an SEO background for you guys watching that didn't know that. I'm very curious to see what kind of impact this will have on SEO as time goes on. Um, and then it talks about how this works with GPT-4. So it says, GPT-4 is a state-of-the-art large language model that can create natural language text. Yes, in the case of deep search, GPT-4 takes the search query and expands it into a more comprehensive description of what an ideal set of results should include. So Bing is, is they already are a pioneer in AI, and now they're looking to integrate AI more in their search intent and this what's called this deep search. So Again, there's a lot more information here about Deep Search and how this works and ties with GBT4. Um, I'll leave a link to this again in the video description below for more details. So guys, the last piece of news I wanna bring you in this video is that McDonald's is actually getting into the world of generative AI starting in 2024. This does come from The Verge. And this is really interesting. You know, McDonald's here, it says McDonald's is partnering with Google to deploy generative AI beginning in 2024 when thousands of stores will get hardware and system upgrades, along with updates to the other systems, including kiosks and the company's mobile app. So the first question that myself and many are asking when they see a headline like this is AI is coming to replace more jobs in the fast food space. And they comment on that at the at the bottom here. So it says the McDonald's statement also skirts the question of AI replacing human workers, mentioning only that the system should reduce complexity for store crews and that it will power exciting new experience for crew and customers. Wendy's is also getting in the mix of AI. And I only expect to see more stories like this come out as these huge corporations are looking to implement generative AI in any way possible to improve efficiency. 
Um, so that's it, guys. Again, those are just some big stories for the week of December 4th in the world of AI and artificial intelligence. Again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Would truly appreciate you guys liking this video. Leave me a comment below if there's a story that you heard about that I should mention or talk about next time or even do a more in-depth video on. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And guys, I truly appreciate you all. And I hope you all have a great day.